Amarillo Museum of Art is very fortunate to have a relationship with Amarillo ISD um, and other schools in the area to provide open space for new um, talented uh, young artists and that's an unusual relationship that we have with the museum. Every year this exhibition gets larger, um, there are more works included, um, the age ranges of the students participating gets wider and wider. We have um, Montessori groups and high school groups participating in this show. We have wonderful outreach programs and we try to bring exhibits in that will draw people from all segments of the community so that they can be part of this wonderful experience. It's always a big boon to um, a child to be in this exhibition every year and during this time frame the number of student tours that we have come through the building really increases because kids want to come and see their work. We feel really responsible for bringing arts education to children uh, as well as adults and so we have outreach that goes out into the communities in the Panhandle area, uh, education and our programs uh, beyond just exhibitions. <music> Dr. Price began collecting after he served in Korea and was stationed in Japan. Uh, started collecting Japanese woodblock prints and then textiles from Central Asia and eventually got into collecting large stone pieces like what's behind me here. And uh, over time uh, has very generously given these objects to the museum. We have wonderful, wonderful textiles, uh, statues, uh, all kinds of Asian art that they have generously let us uh, share with the community. The Amarillo Museum of Art as it is now began with a group of uh, philanthropists in the late 60s and by 1972 the building was built. So the group of early philanthropists came together, built the museum, saw a need for visual arts in the area, a gap in the visual arts in the area, and so we now have this incredible museum. I remember as a young child in a small school that we were taught art, and we had to memorize the name of the painting and the artist, and that has never left me. I love art of all types. And so for me to be uh, the ch uh, chair of the board for the Animal Museum of Art is a privilege and an honor because we're doing such great things for this museum. Celebrating the Panhandle Spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC7 News.